when I was studying at Macquarie University, did I think I'd end up being the CEO of a major mining company? Probably not. And I think it does boil down to taking those chances, taking those risks every now and then, and actually putting yourself in positions where you do feel uncomfortable and you put yourself out there and you get over the butterflies and you get over that feeling of being that imposter, then actually you feel, actually I can do that. And I know I can do it and therefore I know many other people can do it as well. There are certain skills that we need. We're moving fast in innovation, in autonomy, in AI and robotics, and we really need graduates who can actually hit the ground running. But today what we're covering is we go on the journey of how an organisation gets up close and personal with its customers. If you'd asked me 30 years ago when I started my career, I wouldn't have thought we would be talking about inequality or gender inequality today. I'm one of only three CEOs, female CEOs in the ASX 50. Women should have no barriers to succeeding in traditional male-dominated sectors. So that's a wrap. See you all next week, same time, same channel. Well, then have you in the class. You've only got to go to one of Fortescue's mine sites and see how many women there are working in engineering roles, in geology roles, as mine operators. I think people actually are just drawn to what they are interested in and what they like doing. And if they're good at it and they feel rewarded, it's not necessarily about specific roles for specific genders. I think it's about what actually appeals to the individual. Macquarie is partnering with industry to provide education access, but it's got to be more than that. You need the champions inside the workplace that will actively promote inclusiveness. Diversity is absolutely key if you want to innovate. And the success that we've had at Fortescue has been down to our diversity. Not only diversity in gender, but also in ethnicity. I think the real thing we have to do is tackle that unconscious bias. And that's really key, because there are a lot of very smart, talented women out there, and men, who, um, who really want to succeed, who, who aspire to senior executive roles and board positions, and there is no reason why they couldn't succeed. We are reinventing business education. That means rethinking the way we work with industry to ensure that our graduates have the skill set that employers want. Working with industry to ensure that the curriculum that we deliver is up to date. It is relevant to gaining employment. But what we're equally conscious of is that their careers are going to change. So for us, We've also got to embed in, in our students the lifelong learning concept. That means access to education um, in all its formats over their lifetime and encourage our alumni in particular to keep coming back to us. By working with education institutions, we can actually design the courses of the future. So if you're somebody who does have ambition and aspire to certain roles, then actually be prepared to take on those challenges to do that bit extra, to ask for more, to take yourself out of the comfort zone, to take that overseas posting when it comes up, and by opening yourself up to challenges and opportunities, then there should be no reason why you can't actually succeed.